Problem Solving, Use Subtraction Strategies, Acting Out a Problem, Lesson 4.6. We can act out a problem to help us find the answer. We can use counters to help us act it out. Emma has 14 books. She gives six books to her sister. How many books does Emma have now? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many books Emma has now and what information do we need to use? Well, we can use Emma had 14 books. She gave six to her sister. We'll use that information. We can use 10 frames. We can make 14 counters for the 14 books and we can take these four away so that we have 10 We can take two more away so that we've taken away six in all. Ten minus the two is eight books. So 14 minus six is equal to eight. The four we took away from here, the two we took away from here, four plus two equals six. So we took away four and two more. We took away one, two, three, four, five, six. We took away these six. Lisa baked 12 cupcakes. Some cupcakes are chocolate. Eight cupcakes are vanilla. So how many cupcakes are chocolate? So what do we need to find? Well, we need to find how many cupcakes are chocolate. The question. And what information do we need to use? We need to use that there were 12 and eight are vanilla. And how will we use the information? Well, we can use a 10 frame and help us act it out. There's 12 cupcakes, 10, 11, 12. Eight are vanilla. So let's cross out the vanilla ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we crossed out the vanilla ones. That means the rest are chocolate. How many are chocolate? One, two, three, four. There's 12 in all. Four are chocolate and that equals eight vanilla. Four cupcakes are chocolate. 12 minus 4 is equal to 8. We can act it out to solve and draw to show our work. Tala had some cookies. She ate 5. Now she has 9 cookies. How many cookies did Tala start with? Well, it doesn't tell us. It just says that she has some cookies. So what do we need to find? We need to find how many cookies she started with. What information do we need to use? that she ate five of the bunch of cookies and now has nine left over. And how will we use this information? Well, we can make 10 frames to help us act it out. We know that she ate five and she has nine left over. So here's the nine that she's got left over. We can put the five that she ate, one, two, three, four, five, and we can figure out how many she started with. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. If we have 14 and we take these five away, we will have nine left. 14 minus five is equal to nine. So Tala started with 14 cookies. We fill the 10 frame with the numbers, the number of cookies she now has. It says she has nine cookies. So we put nine purple markers or any color. We fill the 10 frame with the number of cookies she ate. She ate five. And we count how many in all to find how many she started with. She started with 14. Tim walked nine miles. Bob walked 16 miles. 
How many fewer miles did Tim walk than Bob? And the word fewer tells us it's going to be a subtraction sentence, a subtraction problem. So what do we need to find? We need to find how many fewer miles Tim walked than Bob. We can see Bob has a bigger number of miles. So what information are we going to use? We're going to use Bob walked 16 and Tim walked 9. And how will we use it? Well, we can act it out with counters. We can give Tim 9 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We can give Bob 16 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can compare the counters that Tim has to the ones Bob has, and you can see that these all match each other as the same number, and Bob has this many more than Tim which means Tim has that many fewer. And how many counters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. Tim walked 7 fewer miles. We just compared the counters next to each other. Dave had 12 roses. He gave some roses to his mother. He has three roses left. How many roses did Dave give to his mother? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many roses Dave gave to his mother. What information do we need to use? Well, we need to use 12 roses is how many he had, and he only has three left. And how will we use this information? We can use a 10 frame and make counters for roses. Here's 10, 11, 12. That would be the 12 roses. And if he only has three roses left, we can cross out and take away counters until there's only three left. We can take away these and these. And we only want one, two, three left, so we still need to cross these out. So how many did we cross out? We crossed out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means Dave gave 9 roses to his mother because he's got 3 left from the 12. He had 12, he gave 9 to his mother, and now he has 3 left. Now Dave has 13 shirts. Some are white and some are blue. Nine shirts are blue. How many shirts are white? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many shirts are white. And what information do we need to use? We need to use that he has 13, but nine of them are blue. And how will we use this information? Well, we can act it out with counters. We can make 13 counters for 13 shirts, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we can take away 9 counters for 9 blue shirts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many are left in the 10 frame? 4. Four shirts are white. We took away the nine blue counters for nine blue shirts, and it left four. This one's going to be a little trickier. See if you can do this with me. Ten bees are in the garden. Four more bees fly into the garden. Then five bees fly out of the garden. How many bees are in the garden now? So what do we need to find? We need to find how many bees are in the garden right now. And what information are we going to use? We're going to use that there were 10, then 4 more came, and then 5 left. And how will we use this? Well, we can use counters to help us. There were 10 bees, so we have 10 pink gems for the 10 bees in the garden. 
and it says four more bees fly into the garden. So we can put four more counters in another 10 frame. Two, three, four. Now how many bees are there? There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then it says five bees fly out of the garden. That means we need to take five counters away. We take away one, two, three, four, five, and how many counters are left over? Nine. We had 10 bees in the garden, four more came into the garden, then five left the garden. 10 plus four is 14. 14 minus five is nine. Nine bees are still in the garden. See if we can do this tricky one. There are seven more birds on the ground than in the tree. Twelve birds are on the ground. How many birds are in the tree? What do we need to find? We need to find how many birds are in the tree. We can even do a drawing to help us act it out, couldn't we? We could draw a tree. And it says there's 12 birds on the ground, so we could make 12 dots. and say that those are the ones on the ground. And it says there's seven more birds on the ground than in the tree. So that means there's less in the tree. We can use counters to help us. We could say that these 12 counters, 10, 11, 12, represent the birds that are on the ground. And if there's seven more on the ground than in the tree, we could take seven of these counters away, and that'll tell us how many are in the tree. Let me move this out of the way, sorry. And one more. There we go. We took away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven counters. That left us with five. That means there's five birds in the tree. 12 minus seven is equal to five. If this is our tree, and these are the birds that are on the ground, and there's seven more on the ground than in the tree, we can take away seven of them. And we have one, two, three, four, five left over. That means there's five in the tree. We can make our own word problem. We can write any numbers to make this word problem true. 11 horses in a stable. Blank horses are brown, the rest are black. How many horses are black? Well, because it only has one number, how many horses there are, we can put any number we want here to make this word problem true. We could say that 10 are brown and one is black because 10 plus one equals 11. We could say nine are brown and two are black because nine plus two is equal to 11, and that's how many horses are in the stable. We could say eight are brown and three are black. Those eight plus three together, those equal 11. We could also say seven are brown and four are black. We could say six are brown and five are black, or five are brown and six are black. We could say four are brown, seven are black. That still equals 11. We could use any combination of which are brown and which are black. If the numbers equal 11 when added together, it will make the word problem true. So any one of these would make this word problem true as long as they equal 11. Our next video is going to be the first lesson of Chapter 5, 5.1. It's going to be problem solving and to know whether to add or subtract to solve a problem. I hope you're doing well. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.